Hey, this is Jake Kelly for the Live to Play Network. Uh, if you're asking yourself, why would I play with a guitar sounding like that? Well, this is uh, about a uh, self-tuning guitar. So this is the PVAT200. It's a conventional guitar and a digital guitar built into one. Uh, the digital guitar, it can tune itself and let's listen to uh, how it does that. It's as uh, simple as that, uh, just by strumming the open strings and uh, pushing your uh, volume control it down for a moment, uh, the guitar will tune itself. Uh, this can be played as a conventional guitar and used as a uh, regular guitar without the uh, any of the digital aspects, auto-tuning of it. Uh, you can leave all the tuning up to the gears and your ears. Uh, Let's talk about the guitar real quick. It's a uh, bass wood body. It's a solid body guitar. The body is made out of bass wood. The neck is maple. The fingerboard is rosewood. It has a flatter radius. I'm not quite sure what it is. Might be like a, a 12 or 14 inch radius. I'm not sure. I'll check. I'll put it in the written review. Six on the side tuners, uh, sealed back tuners. Uh, it has a pair of PV humbucking pickups. It has a volume control, a tone control, and a three-way pickup switch. The uh, guitar has both an active or digital mode and a passive analog mode. Here we are in the analog mode. And we have those out-of-tune strings. All right, we'll pop it back into digital mode. Uh, the strings will be out of tune at first and by uh, strumming the open strings and pushing down on the volume control momentarily that swooping sound lets you know that it put the uh, guitar in tune. Let's go back to the passive mode for a moment and I'm going to get out my uh, screwdriver here I'm going to tap on the pickups. Here's the neck pickup. Here's the middle position, so neck and bridge. And then uh, here's just the bridge pickup. So the neck pickup's off. And here's the bridge pickup. Okay. When it's in digital mode, uh, both of those pickups are off. Right? So, uh, but the, uh, the modeling that this guitar uses uh, still has the pickup selector uh, change your tone. So we'll put the, put the guitar back in tune. Uh, so here's the treble, we're in the digital mode. Here's the treble pickup. Here's the middle position. And here's the neck position. So you still have the three usable pickup selection switch, uh, pretty much normal. Let's go back to the uh, analog mode. We're going to uh, get these other strings. So here's the uh, treble position in the analog mode. Here's the middle position. Here's the neck position. I like this middle position. Uh, it has that real... Uh, you know, uh, that kind of in-between uh, single coil pickups sound. Uh, I like the neck pickup. Mm -hmm. 
And I like the the trouble put. I'm not going to worry about the tuning. We're going to go. Uh, we're going to go into digital mode. So uh, uh, that middle position. It sounds like in the digital mode, the guitar is a little bit hotter. By the way, we're playing uh, this guitar, the output uh, jack. There's a quarter inch output jack that you use a standard guitar cable with, run into your amplifier. There's also a uh, multi-pin jack. We're not going to worry about that now. We'll talk about that at some later point. We have the uh, quarter inch jack running into a Fender Twin Reverb amplifier direct and we have a uh, Shure SM57 mic on the amplifier. So pretty much typical guitar player rig. And that's what we're using for both the digital and the analog mode on this guitar. So uh, here's the neck position. Okay, now, uh, you know, I'm going fast because we only have a limited amount of time. Uh, uh, some of the early digital guitars, uh, MIDI guitars, they were plagued with not understanding how a guitar player plays, like uh, bending strings, a vibrato, uh, holding some strings down and bending others. You know, uh, this guitar obviously understands that. You can bend one note. You can bend two notes. Uh, you can use all your regular guitar playing techniques. This guitar doesn't seem to do any of that uh, questioning which pitch it's supposed to be in. So... Uh, so you could use the digital guitar just as you apparently could use any, uh, any guitar.